Hello everyone, this is Paula from cropnotesandcrafts.blogspot.com and today I have my uh, design team work for scrollswork.com uh, This is a stamp company and uh, I use their stamps and uh, create all sorts of different things and what you're seeing here is a uh, trash can that I made uh, for my, uh, my dressing table, my makeup table in my bedroom. You can see the uh, fabric here is uh, what my my bedding is is uh, looks like, and uh, I bought this wooden trash can, and I just uh, decided to start decorating it. And this is what I came up with. I still have to put a few more coats of clear coat on it. Uh, it's a little uneven uh, on the sheen yet, but I wanted to uh, upload it and show it to you today. So let's. Uh, zoom in just a little bit so you can see some of the detail it's not perfect it's no big deal this was a wooden trash can and uh, first I started by painting it and uh, this is the acrylic paint that I used. Just an inexpensive uh, bottle of paint that I picked up at the craft store. And once it, uh, it dried, I let it cure for uh, several days so that the paint would dry really well. And then uh, I took, chose my stamps, which were these two. And this is Scrolls Work 2540 Gothic Corner. That's what this one is. That's what I used here along the sides. And this large swirl in the center is uh, Scrolls Work 2544 Leafy Swirls. Okay. Then all I did is take my anti static pad and I rubbed that uh, around on the areas that I was about to emboss and that does help by the way so I would recommend using that and then I used my uh, watermark pad and I inked my stamps and you notice my stamps are not on an acrylic block this is a flexible sheet and uh, this particular sheet is part of my um, uh, stamp -a jig but it's flexible. So you want something that's flexible because if it's, if it's stiff and if it's mounted on a wooden block, it's going to be difficult to stamp onto wood because there's some unevenness. Uh, so you do want to be able to put this onto your, your project and to be able to smooth it down and get in all the areas because there could be some you know, unevenness, a, a dip where uh, the stamp's not going to pick up. It's difficult to stamp on wood unless you're uh, stamping with something that is flexible like this. So I stamped it <coughs> with my watermark ink and then uh, I used some uh, Stampin' Up uh, gold detail powder. And I used about a half of this jar. This is a uh, half ounce jar or 14 grams and I only used about half of it to uh, to do this entire project okay and then once I uh, did my stamping and embossing before I actually took the heat gun to heat everything I took a, a fine paintbrush and I would really work this paintbrush and get the um, the dust the embossing powder off of the areas where I didn't want it because it does want to stick to the wood. So I did, did uh, do a lot of detail work with this brush. Uh, I think this took me about, um, I would say close to four hours to complete it because of, you know, there's all this fine little detail work. So I stamped everything and embossed it. Uh, I painted my green stripes and all I did was take a ruler and I measured uh, at the top measured at the top here uh, three quarters of an inch and at the bottom was uh, a centimeter 
and I mark that with a uh, yellow uh, watercolor pencil. And that's a good thing to use because you can just uh, squirt a little bit of water and wipe that right off and your lines never show. So I marked it with my watercolor pencil, drew my lines to get, um, to get my stripes, and then I took blue painter's tape and I taped it off and I painted it um, green with this Americana light avocado paint. And after that dried well, and I used my heat gun to help, help dry that, quicken that up some. After that dried well, I took my Versamark pen and a ruler and I marked off the lines. And I went over it a couple times lightly with my ruler. And I did use my anti-static pad <clears throat> before I did that uh, to, make, to get my lines. And then the top of the box here, uh, I just took the, the pen and eyeballed it. And then on the very top edge, I uh, took my um, Versamark pad and the, and the pen and ink that up well so that all this is gold. And that's pretty much all that I did. Uh, and then I took uh, a clear, uh, just a spray can of uh, a clear finish. This is um, acrylic crystal clear. And it's good for metal wood wicker and more. And this is a satin finish. And I sprayed it a couple times. And I still need to spray it a couple more times because there is some unevenness yet. But that's pretty much all that there is to it. And then I did take on the bottom, and of course I, uh, I did stamp the bottom here and uh, marked it with the day that I finished it and my name. And now I have a trash can that goes nicely with my bedding. So if uh, you'd like to stamp on wood, that's an easy way to get started. Embossing was a quick way to do it, and it's a lot faster than painting.